All right, I'm going to uh, let you in a little bit of my, uh, we've been having fun here and telling some jokes, having a little fun with some sketches, but I'm going to let you in on some reality here for a second. Uh, true story, all right? I came into work this morning, as I always do, and I was told uh, that one of my writers, Michael Coleman, had called in sick. Here's Michael Coleman right there. It's a <laughs> recent photo of his grinning puss. Uh, <laughs> Now, uh, I'll be honest with you, Michael seemed perfectly fine yesterday, and as you can all see from that photo, he's a young, healthy guy. So something just didn't sit right with me, okay? So I decided on the spur of the moment to go see his apartment and uh, see for myself how sick he really was. This is just a couple of hours ago. And like I said, I, I decided this very quickly. Uh, he had no idea I was coming. We didn't call first or anything. I just grabbed a camera crew. We jumped in a van. I found out where he lives. I went down there to find out, is this guy sick or not? What the hell's going on? Here's what happened. OK, I'm here in the West Village. About an hour and a half ago, one of our writers, Michael Coleman, called in sick. Um, frankly. I didn't believe his story. So I jumped in a van, I came down. Let's find out what's really happening. Let's go. How are you? We're here to see Michael Coleman. I'm Conan O'Brien from TV's Conan O'Brien Show. Oh, you're familiar with the show. Good to see you. What is your name? George. George, good to see you, old chum. Uh, Michael Coleman lives here? Yes. He's my writer. Uh, may I, we'd like to go up and see him. Is that possible? Yeah. Very good. Oh, very high security. <laughs> here. What's chum? Hi, Don. How are you, buddy boy? Hey, guys. How are you? I have a little sore throat. You really are sick? How yeah. sick are you? Well, my throat is sore, and I have kind of like a chill. And like my back is. <laughs> you know, really? Well, there's sick, and then there's I'm so sick I can't come in and work. You've been drinking a lot of liquids? Yeah. Do you think you're running a temperature? I'm not sure. I might be. Why don't we find out? Can I have the... Uh, Thermometer, please. Why don't you put that under your tongue, please? It's clean? Yeah, it's pretty clean. We found that outside. <laughs> Do you think that you stayed home to keep other writers from getting sick? No, honestly, it just seemed like a... a please smart... don't speak while you have the... Okay. But why do you think you stayed home? <laughs> Try this one. It's digital. What were you doing when we buzzed or, upstairs? Or, or sleeping. Ah, digital. Ninety-six point eight. Wow, you're at death's door. Orbit gum. Yeah. Sugar free. Can I have some of that? Yeah, it might not be uh, fresh. Do you think you caught this cold from anybody? Uh, well, right. I mean, how else do you get a cold? So you're being snotty about my question. <laughs> a little bit. Well, I don't even know what it means. Did you catch this cold from somebody? Yeah, I probably caught this cold from what, uh, somebody. Whatever I have. One of the first symptoms is acting like a dick. <laughs> I'm not concerned about you. So I came over to see how you're doing. You could call. Might have woken you up. Why do you have so much gum? I was against this idea. I would have been too. I what said, could I possibly I don't understand, offer? like, I don't understand how this works. Get a camera crew, go down there. He's not, and I was like, well, he probably is really sick, and then he's just sick. All right. oh, and then honest. wind and wind, and here I am. I'm honestly trying to play along. I don't know. Have a lot to offer comedically right now. But so I mean, what else is new? I'm going to take your blood pressure if you don't mind. I'm just going to kill time at this point because I don't want to go back to the office right. too quickly. It's definitely not airing. Well, you know, you never know. Oh. Have you seen some of the turds you guys squeeze out? Blood pressure is perfect. Exactly. Perfect blood pressure. Perfect temperature. Quite frankly, you can't prove anything. <laughs> if I say I'm sick and I kind of talk in a weak voice, you have to take my word for it. Why? If I worked at a bank, I w the president of the bank wouldn't come to my house and swab my throat. What are you talking about? I don't know. I happen to know a little something about the old drain pipe. Oh, actually, that looks very red. Oh, man. Do you see that? You know what? I really don't want that. I really don't want to get sick. They sent me down here, and it's clear to me now that I'm going to get that. If I have this yeah. in two days, will you come to my apartment? Yes. Good luck getting in. It's a real apartment building. This is my Christmas uh, gift to my staff. Um, 
I don't know if it's sad that I insist that my face be on everything that I give to anybody. Where are you going? This is a trip from that I haven't even unpacked from in San Francisco. Liar! Look at this! You were planning a trip to France today. <laughs> yeah, your little day off with sickness, and you've got a packed bag? You're not supposed to have this. Proof. This is for audience members only. This is for people in the audience. You took this? Well, yeah, there's a closet full of them. A thief, as well as a liar. Look, what do you like that? I don't like it at all. Well, stop sucking off my teat, okay? <laughs> right? No, honestly. This cow can only give so much sweet milk. Mike, let's pull it around. Let's go to work, okay? Okay. Let's go. That gum is lasting a long time that I ate. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I wasn't complimenting you. He's as healthy as a horse. No temperature. Yeah. Blood pressure is perfectly normal. He seems fine. Okay, I'm. I'm George good. said you seemed fine to him. Yeah. Thanks for letting him out, George. Yeah. Thank you. You're a good man, George. We'll see you later. See you later. Okay. See you later. Now, Michael, you, uh, I'm told about half an hour ago, you, you did see the NBC doctor? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, and uh, you're not really sick, are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> so, Michael, I understand you're completely clean? Uh, well, not exactly. Herpes! <laughs> Don't screw with me ever again.